All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Batman, the Telltale series, season one, that is. I haven't purchased season two yet, but I do plan on getting around to that for you guys. Only way to show this new series some love. Um, thank you for your support, and without further ado, let's do this. Goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, Christ. Move in. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. <laughs> we know who that is. I don't need backup. I'm a Batman fan, but oh, here we go. Well, saying I'm a Batman fan, but <laughs> he saw it. Um, but he's not my favorite superhero. My favorite is Superman. Go figure, right? Oh! Surprise! Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. It's made you a target. Oh, excuse me. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Classic Batman, the disappearing act. I don't know, you guys seen that? Um, that's one of my favorites. Is uh, the 1989 Batman What's with that? Michael Keaton? When the dude was like, Who are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> As iconic. Just the way the scene was set up, you guys really need to see that. If you haven't already. If you're from my generation, you may have seen him when you were a kid. Then we'll just come in from the top. Exactly. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> Let's 
to. Oh! What the heck was that? We went black for a sec. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't believe the dude resurfaced after that kick. That kick looked like it broke his neck. His neck has got to be severely injured from that. Y'all saw how far his head got pushed back? Whoops. Oh. Whoop! So busy talking. This is really well done. Really well done. I have to say, it's been a while since I uh, played a a game from Telltale. Been some years. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Dude, I'm loving this. I've got to get season two. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Dude, Catwoman? Behind you, big boy. This is excellent. I'm hooked already. And what are we about what? We're not even 10 minutes in. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. Uh-oh. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Yep. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Oh! I'm glad they slowed the time down. I missed.
Woo. That was out of desperation. I almost missed it. Commissioner Gordon. Who are now? Jesus. Got it. Wait, wait, wait. Do not shoot. Engaged in it like the Commissioner Gordon and the cops are. I'm barely saying a word. <laughs> Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh. God damn it! I said don't shoot! <sighs> no! Wait! <sighs> Figured it, yeah. <sighs> Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. I bet. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. That was awesome that was an awesome intro to the series i tell you what i've got to get season two <laughs> thank you everyone a humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement even one who cut gotham's crime rate in half now, for too long this city has burned with corruption and greed under mayor hill's authority but i promise you a vote for harvey dent is a vote to finally put your foot down and together we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. 
Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. It's just working the night shift. Yeah, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, put a dent in crime. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. 
Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. The vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. There we go. Thank you both. I almost hit circle. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. He sounds like Sullivan we'll from Uncharted. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. By the way, I'm doing that for you guys as well, so we'll be on the on Charter for soon. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps... I'm not sure if that was a good idea. In the parlor. Follow me, if you will. But I feel like it was, though. Because we're trusting Harvey, and that's who we're here for. And I felt like you if I refused know, it, it would be kind of selfish. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? 
Wants to make sure the rules are followed. That's him. Sullivan. But in my experience, there's the law. The guy who played the voice that is. Doing what's right. The voice actor. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. Oh, that's how it's gonna be. Don't say no to me. Not for long. This guy's a trip, Master dude. Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. gonna agree with him until he freaking started talking about Bruce's dad and on that note ladies and gentlemen I'm going to stop it here thank you for joining me for this episode of Batman Telltale Series if you like this episode do me a favor drop a like and subscribe to the channel and series grow thanks for watching take care and I will catch you guys in the next one peace out